Hello and welcome to another tour or drive of DNJ Drives. Today is Saturday, the 20th of April 2024, and it is 25 to 6 on this Saturday evening. Today we are starting a tour from the Barbados Golf Club in Durance or Durance and going all the way through to Atlantic Shores. This promises to be a very picturesque journey and we invite you to sit back and relax and enjoy it. Hopefully you are viewing this on a big screen and maybe enjoying it on a Friday evening with your family to enjoy the beauty of Barbados. We want to say thank you to all of our new subscribers. We continue to grow in strength and we really, really appreciate the feedback that we receive, both positive and negative or developmental or however you want to call it. Um, and just a disclaimer, I'm not originally from Barbados, so I may from time to time get a few names of streets and roads incorrect. So please excuse that, but my son and I, we are determined to do these videos for the enjoyment of especially Barbadians who live overseas or tourists who are looking to come here on holiday. So we are descending Thornberry Hill having started at Durance and we will go from Thornberry Hill into Oystens. That vehicle just exited from Church Hill and we've done quite a bit of footage on Church Hill over two videos. Oystens part one and part two. So this is Thornberry Hill. That's Scarborough on the right. We exited there in our initial Oystens video and here we see residents of Oystens having a Saturday evening chat as we reach the end of Thornberry Road. And these vehicles are exiting Oystens and this is how you get to Atlantic Shores. So those vehicles that you just saw there, they will they are leaving Oystens ending highway 7 there and turning on to highway U U as in umbrella This is the turn off. So we are on Enterprise Drive now. And this is a very interesting junction coming up. So tune in, expand your screen or use a big screen TV. This junction here allows you to go left to Enterprise Coast Road or Enterprise Beach Road. So look at the beauty ahead of you. We are going right to give you a view of 
Enterprise Beach Road. There are hotels here, restaurants, lovely dining. This is a relatively new hotel on the right. So in a previous video, in the Oystins video, we showed you what is known as Miami Beach. It's the same bay, but there are two parts to the beach. So if you look right ahead of you, you should see the back of the police station in Oystins. We, we featured that in a previous video and you should remember from that video that we showed you Miami Beach now to the right of your screen is the end of Miami Beach and this side is known as Enterprise Beach but it's all inside of Oystens Bay. The water on this side for whatever reason tends to be on the rough side so you can see how lovely it is. We can actually drive into the water if we had to. that coast guard that um, lifeguard station out there that serves both sides so you have this side and then over there which is right ahead of you through those two signs that's what is referred to as Miami Beach but it's just two sides one calmer than the other side all right so we make our way back along Enterprise Beach Road. back at this junction and we continue along Enterprise Coast Road now. So it moves from Beach Road to Coast Road, Enterprise Coast Road. We are driving on the tip, on the edge this is South Coast. So if you took a map of Barbados and looked for oysters and just traced the roads right towards the edge, you will be able to identify exactly where we are. All of these homes out here have a view of the ocean. Or I should say enjoy a view of the ocean. Because there's more than having but enjoying. a straight drive all the way down to Atlantic Shores and it's 
it's gonna be quite a bit to do in one go so we'll probably have to make this into we've planned it into two parts and today we go as far as the lighthouse and then the neighborhood right behind it we're going to show you the south point someday we're going to give you a tour up to the north point so barbados has a north point and a south point and they are both areas of interest so we're turning here at this house that some people opine that it looks almost like a boat upside down I'm not sure if anyone still lives here but that is actually a point of reference or a landmark so you turn right into the Atlantic Shores area and ahead of us is the lighthouse a very very interesting area that is quite um, popular among tourists this lighthouse at one time served many 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 years ago as a point for vessels to understand their dis to understand the distance between themselves and land the name of this road is lighthouse drive Lots of school children come here for tours to see the famous South Coast or South Point Lighthouse. So we are in. If we go just here, gives you a lovely view. Of the south. I believe this building is used as a sort of depot for the Ministry of Transport and Works as you can see there are some of their vehicles there so we will leave the lighthouse and I encourage you to google it There's a lot of information out there and stories about that lighthouse and as I said it's a place that many primary schools and even secondary schools visit to do their tours. And this is a neighborhood along the lighthouse. very nice and quiet area nice houses in here
so we're back on to the east the enterprise coast road with the boat roof and we turn down again so that's that little development as you can see the lighthouse is ahead of us again I can't recall the year it was built and brought to Barbados or built there's a story behind it but it's a couple hundred years old time we turn left onto Lighthouse Lane you would never guess that there are lovely homes behind here it just looks as if when you see the lighthouse it looks as if okay well that's the end you come you see the lighthouse you take pictures and turn around and leave but there are extraordinarily beautiful houses down here we can't possibly do the whole area it's just it's just too much to be done as a tour unless we were to break it up into several videos maybe parts one two three and four but what we are doing today will be the main part so from here you can see the back of the lighthouse and we are going all the way down to these homes that are built that the waves break on their backyards. So the first, at this point we go left and then we come back down. Lots of Airbnbs and apartments, holiday resorts. This area is even used by Barbadians during the summer vacation to get a break at home away from home. Rent a beach house and come down for a week or two. Many Barbadians also do that at Bathsheba, which is on the east of Barbados. And we have a special request for a tour up on that side, and we will be doing that, but not just yet. We have a schedule of tours mapped out. Today shooting a bit later than usual to try to get away from the the sunlight that pours its way into our camera and sometimes it obscures the view as you can see there's a property under construction there so that's the end of that road Lovely homes out here. And then there are a few right turns in this development, but they all take you in, in one in a circle. You just go up one and come back down. And so you're gonna see more or less the same things.
this was where we turned and we we went left and now this is what it looks like going right coming down from lighthouse lane now these houses on the left literally have their backyards on you might as well call their backyards the beach if you look at this house here you can see their backyard is sandy their backyard is on the beach information this road is called Seaside Drive and on Seaside Drive you get to the south point of Barbados actually the road on the right is called South Point Road and this right here is the south point of Barbados so we will turn give you a view of the south point it right ahead of us is the southernmost point of Barbados I'm so sorry that vehicle is parked right there because it's obscuring your view but we will turn here and give you that view that's the that's the south point of Barbados So we will continue along Seaside Drive and just go and make a turn. Now this area here is is, is vast. I mean the there are so many turns and corners that we could spend hours in here if we had to and it's easy to get lost in here you can end up turning up and down and up and down and not realizing that you're on the same area and just enjoy this view here This is a vacant parcel of land. Not sure why no one built a home there. But this is between two properties. Just turning to give you a view of the area. that 
secured our view of the South Point so that you can get an idea of what it's like. So that's the end of today's tour from Durant's all the way to the south point of Barbados and um, this area here is very popular for tourists. They love to come and have a, a, a sea bath and the water is a bit rough on this side and it's, it's also a point of interest because if you look at the map of Barbados it's the southernmost point of the island it's on the tip of the island so you can actually go there and dip your foot into the water and know that I am standing at the bottom most part the southernmost part of Barbados and this is a lovely place to end today's drive and we thank you for your attention we thank everyone for all of the support as our community of drivers if you wish grow with us we, we our numbers are increasing and we we have so many requests for tours and we get so many positive messages it's very encouraging and we just want to say thank you for that and we'll just journey together until at some point we realize that we've covered all of Barbados and then perhaps start going into something else but for example this neighborhood we could actually do an entire series just of Atlantic shores and surrounding areas. So we'll see how this goes but we thank you and we're going to show you down to the end of the island. So thank you and please subscribe. Please share this video to any potential visitors to Barbados as well as Barbadians living overseas. Thank you. Signing off. DNJ drives the 20th of April 2024. It's now 6.05 p.m.